As you can tell, I love some mood lighting. Today, we're going to see if we can make mood lighting on our minis with Liquitex Ink. So the video I've got planned is to show you how I paint my Sisters of Battle, go through all the different steps, so how I paint the eye lenses, how I paint plasma glow, how I use pigment on the robes and on the metal, and also show you how I use Liquitex ink to create that like mood lighting, gloomy glow effect. Okay, so here's the paints we're gonna be using. Feel free to screenshot these, or I'll put a list in the description below. I'm also going to be using an airbrush for this tutorial as well, as well as some Rival Crafts pigment, and Liquitex ink. I use Rosemary & Co brushes and a red grass wet palette. So the first thing we're gonna do is prime the model in black. It doesn't really matter which black, I just use a mix of Vallejo Model Air black with some gloss varnish and some thinner. And then we're gonna base coat the whole model in Vallejo Metal Color Jet Exhaust and then do a Zenithal of Dura Aluminium. I think it's called Dura Aluminium, I'm not really sure. So we want to get like a good even coat across the whole model using the jet exhaust. And then we're going to use the Dura Aluminium and I'm just going to spray it from above so that we get that nice zenithal effect where it's, uh, where it's lighter on the top and then darker underneath. Next up we use Skeleton Horde and we're going to paint in all the little gold details so like the little halo thing on the back, the sword handle, the little inquisition marks. And then we're going to take Null Noil and we're going to wash all of the other metal parts of the model. We want to let it pull in the recesses but not too much, you don't want to obscure any details. And you want to try and drag it away from the shiniest areas so that you create like a natural highlight on those top bits which would catch the light. And don't try not to go over the gold areas too much either. It doesn't matter if you get a little bit on there, but it just helps keep the gold areas nice and shiny. After that, we're going to get a wet palette out and we're going to get some black on there. I use Vallejo model colour black just because it's got really good coverage. And we're going to paint all the cloak, the sleeves and her corset thing. I want to try and get a really good solid coverage on this. Which I didn't. Next up, corn red. And for this, we're going to paint her gloves. We're also going to paint the inside of the cloak and we're going to paint the lenses. Next up, we're going to take Rhinox Hide and really carefully paint her belt and the sword scabbard. Any leather areas, really. Now we're going to use a Shabti Bone and a couple of coats to get all the parchment nice and Shabti Boney. Next, it's Screamer Pink and we're going to pick out all the wax seals on the uh, Purity Seals. Be really careful, you don't want to get it on the Yashabti bone. Then give it all a wash with Agrax Earthshade. Whilst that dries, we're going to paint all the shoulder emblems and also a Viserius with Celestra Grey. And give that a wash with Null Oil. We're going to go back and we're going to highlight the wax seals with a bit of Screamer Pink just around the edge and in the middle of the seal. Then 
going to go back with our celestial gray and we're going to highlight the areas of the shoulder pads and the rosarius and just try and leave some of that previous layer where you've put the wash on before and just catch those highlighted edges. Then we're going to come in with some Ulthoon Grey and we're just going to highlight those edges again. Again, you want to leave a little bit of the previous layer um, so just catch a little bit less area than you did in the in the previous step. On these wings we're going to go more towards the outside. Finally we're going to use some white and just get the very tips of those wings just there. Just the tips. Just get that nice little highlight. And the same with the Rosarius. Obviously we're doing this on, on both shoulder pads as well. That's where we're at so far. Next up we're going to go into the plasma gun. So here we're going to base coat the whole of the plasma coil in moot green. Then we're going to water down some white paint so it's like a really thin runny consistency. And then we're going to wash that across the whole of the plasma coils and try to really get it so that it goes into the uh, into the coils themselves. It gives it that glowy effect so it's almost like it's glowing from within. You might have to put a couple of coats on here just to get it so it, it sits nicely in there. And then we're going to go back with our moot green I'm just going to highlight those those coils again, just the outside bits. Now we're going to make a glaze of Warboss Green. I'm going to take that glaze on your brush, wipe most of it off on a kitchen towel, and paint it onto the casing around the coil. So this is going to make that glow effect. And then we're going to do the same with moot green. So really water down, just get a bit on your brush, wipe most of it off, and then paint it onto those areas that the glow would hit. And that's an easy plasma glow. Now we're going to do the writing on the purity seals. So a bit, bit of watered down Rhinox hide, just paint some thin lines across the purity seals. Onto the eye lenses, so we're going to get Evil Sun Scarlet, Evil Sun Scarlet, and paint the bottom edges of those lenses. And then we're going to do the same with Wild Rider Red, but just catch less of that area. So almost like you're highlighting, but just going down into the bottom of the lens. And then we're going to take some white. And we're just going to make a tiny little dot, just for like a little shine on the lenses. There we go, easy lenses. Onto the base, I've uh, pre prepared this base, and we're just going to dry brush through some like browns and some greys into a light grey colour. I used dried bark then Skaven Black Dinge, then Mechanicus Standard Grey, and then finally Celestra Grey. Then I painted in some of the metal areas of that base. And gave those a wash with Silicon and Grey. Now we're going to use Rival Crafts Pigment. So this is the Cypress Umber Dark pigment and we're just going to get it on this brush it's kind of like a, a stiff bristle brush but it's kind of it's kind of soft as well it's not too it's not too abrasive uh, so it's not going to damage the paint job we've already done we're just going to get it on the paintbrush and then plop it onto the model and then wipe most of it away and it's going to leave like a dusty muddy dusty effect like residue i suppose left on the model we can do that on the base as well all over really just uh, to give it that nice effect Now onto our mood lighting. So we're going to take the Liquitex ink and we're going to dilute it. So I've used two drops of ink and quite a lot of drops of airbrush thinner. 
and you can see it's it's still quite quite strong, uh, but it is translucent. I'm going to get our airbrush, and we're just going to spray from below of the model, and we're going to get this nice strong greeny blue effect on the bottom of the model here. And to do this, we're just going to spray directly from underneath. With like quick presses like that. So you don't want to overdo it. Just quick sharp presses from underneath. And that'll get that mood lighting effect. I'm going to do the same on the middle of the base as well. Because you want the base obviously to be lit up as well. Last bits, we're going to black the edges of our bases, add on some water effects, and then glue down our mini. And that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed the video and found some useful tips in there. If you did and you do post your minis onto social media, why not tag me? I'm at Spence Painting on Twitter and on Instagram. Or you can just let me know in the comments below how you found the tutorial. If you've got any questions, please let me know. And I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, see you next time.